Oh, hey, YouTube. Welcome to our coop. Just got this finished. We're gonna get the girls moved in here here shortly. Uh, just wanted to talk to you about this, show you around, do a little coop tour. This project, I did the uh, two by four basics kit to build this shed that we converted to a coop. We did a lot of upcycling on it. The project took about three and a half weeks. I only worked on it for a couple hours a day and then took a few days off, so it didn't take a full straight three weeks to do this. But um, I'm gonna bring you inside and kind of show you what we did here and uh, just walk around and take a look. So come on in. So as we get inside here, we're doing the deep litter method for our chickens. This is about three to three to four inches of pine shavings. We got their nesting boxes here. They are 18 inches off the floor. They are built out of reclaimed wood from the beast from the front deck, pulled some of the deck boards off, went ahead and built these nesting boxes out of them. Got their nesting material in here and their training eggs. These worked really well in their coop that they're currently in right now. So we're gonna put them in here to let them know this is where they need to lay their eggs. We also put diatomaceous earth and some uh, nesting herbs in here, kind of relaxes them and makes them lay more eggs. And then over here on the right hand side of the coop, we got their roosting bars. These are about 30 inches off the ground. They need to be higher than the nesting boxes so they don't sleep in the boxes. Um, these were also made out of reclaimed wood. These nesting bars are from the beast also, they're the old wall studs, a couple of the old wall studs from inside the beast to do the nesting bars here. So uh, yeah, as you can see, it's a beautiful ivory color inside, nice light, make the chickens feel very comfortable in here. And uh, we'll go uh, take a walk outside. Here's their door to where they can head out to the yard, which is where we're gonna head to next. All right, so here's the run on the outside of the house we were just inside of. This is gonna be their primary scratching and everything area we're gonna put we got compost and stuff in here but uh put this door on today we got it all wrapped in chicken wire and then the bottom portion down here is a uh, half inch hardware cloth and it's buried underneath here it comes out about 12 inches to keep from any burrowing critters from going inside trying to get inside the coop so we'll go ahead and open the door and go ahead and take a look inside Watch your head as you enter. We'll start over on this side. This is the framing for the run is the old yard barn that was here at the property when we bought it. We were originally gonna use it for a trellis to grow gourds on. And then once we decided we were gonna do this composting system chicken run here, we uh, went ahead and wrapped it with chicken wire and brought it up here for that. So that's the story of the run. Um, there's the chicken door. It's an automatic chicken door. I'll do a review video on this after we use it for a few months and see how I like it. But uh, so far it seems to be working okay. I keep checking on it every once in a while. It opens about 6.45 in the morning right as the sun's coming up and then it closes about 30 minutes after sunset. Their chicken ramp that we built here. This is just some leftover pieces from the trim of the house here. And then the main board is also a um, part of the deck boards from the beast that we reclaimed to um, to build this ramp for them. And then over here, they have their dust bath. We loaded a little bit of fresh beach sand in there for them. And then stepping over this way, we got their five gallon water. We got their food out here. It's gonna be suspended so it can stay out here all the time and the critters won't get to it. So that's gonna be good. And then here is their um, mineral feeder. It has chicken grit and oyster shells in it. And then over here on this side is their compost area. This is probably going to get spread all over in here. That's why we we built these bases here with this two by six. But this is going to be their compost area. There's a lot of bugs and things in here and they'll go in there and they'll turn it over and then they'll um, they'll defecate on it and uh, and it'll turn into really rich, good organic compost for us to use on all of our gardens. And then, uh, so once we're gonna put them in here for a few weeks and let them get used to this run. And then once they're used to it, this is a little chicken door here for them that opens to the outside. And we'll take their Premier One fence and we're gonna wrap them a yard area out here also for them. They can go in and out of here during the day. And then in the evening, after dinner or such we can come in here and close them in so they'll stay in the run 
and then at night when they go back into roost, they'll just go in and the automatic door will close by itself. So you want to step out here and I'll show you a couple things outside here. It looks like there's going to be some rain here shortly, so we should probably get this going. So this roofing material up here is a uh, siding that we upcycled also from the beast. Um, it's all the tin siding from the trailer. We put there's some on the house and some here on the run. This is uh, to help the, keep the rain off the chickens when they're outside and also some shade in the summertime when the sun comes over, it gives them a little bit of shade to keep cool. And then we talked about on the, for the outside, the outside portion of their yard is gonna be right here. So Maggie had planted a bunch of seeds out here and uh, this is a chicken forage mix that we got. I believe it's from Urban Farmer. It's a, just a mix of things that the chickens love to eat. So we're hoping that while they're getting used to and acquainted to, or acquainted with their inside of their new run, this stuff starts sprouting because then they can come out here and have something to munch on when they're out here in the yard. So uh, that's our coop tour. The uh, next portion that we have here is the girls are still down there in their old coop in the yard and we're gonna get them moved up here. It's just now starting to rain, so we need to get this going. So, uh, so let's go do that. I'm just gonna start picking them up, I think. <laughs> We got them moved. It uh, it started sprinkling there, and if you uh, if you're familiar with the term "mad as a wet hen," the chickens don't tend to cooperate when it's raining. They all they want to do is run under cover. So we didn't film it. It started to not turn too crazy, but we had to chase down a couple of birds. But they're in here. They're uh, already scratching around and eating stuff and getting used to their new home. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. Hope you enjoyed the build videos. It's uh, it's been quite a quite an adventure. It was a good time. I actually had a lot of fun doing it, um, except a few stresses here and there, but no big deal. Anyway, we'll do more uh, more videos with the chickens and the coop and stuff um, here shortly, and and I appreciate y'all watching. See you next time.